In our introductory cloud video, we briefly talked about the three service models available on the cloud, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. Before we dive into the details of each of these service models in the subsequent videos, let's get started with a quick overview of these models. Hi, I'm Tessa Rhodes, and I'm a designer on IBM Cloud. So let's start with the foundation here with IaaS. IaaS is a set of compute, networking, and storage resources that have been virtualized by a vendor so that a user can access and configure them any way they want. In design, we have a concept of talking about users called personas. And the persona for IaaS is a system admin, or an IT admin. Let's jump up to the top with software as a service. That's the easy one. Software as a service is just software that you don't have to install on your machine and you don't have to manually update. And so the user for software as a service could be anyone. In fact, if you're watching this on YouTube right now, then you're a user of software as a service. It's usually charged um, on a subscription model rather than a one-time license fee. Then that brings us to platform as a service. PaaS takes advantage of all the virtualized resources from IaaS and then just abstracts them away so the user doesn't have to worry about managing any of those virtualized resources. The user for PaaS is not a system admin, usually. Um, it's usually a dev. In IBM, we call this dev Jane. That's the name of our persona. And so this whole metaphor, the pyramid metaphor, is meant to indicate that as you move down, you're increasing complexity in terms of the, your knowledge and, and management of infrastructure resources, and you're increasing the ease of use. Another metaphor I use when I'm talking to the designers on my team about PaaS is having to do with a car. So in this metaphor, IaaS is like leasing a car. So if you've ever leased a car, you probably did a lot of research and you care about the specs of the car and their performance. You care about the color of the car, what kind of car it is, and you're the one driving and you're paying for it. You're also paying for the gas and any tolls or maintenance. Um, with platform as a service, in this metaphor, that's more like renting a car. So say you're on vacation and you just got off the air airport and you're going to pick up your rental car, you don't really care what color it is, uh, you don't really even care about the specs of it, but you're still driving and you're paying for the gas and any tolls you go through. Software as a service is again the easiest one. That one's more like getting a taxi or an Uber. So with a taxi or an Uber, you don't care at all about what kind of car it is, what color it is, and in fact, you're not even the one driving or paying for gas or any tolls because that's baked into the price. So, let's see what it means in terms of cloud computing and its three service models. With IaaS, the cloud provider manages the physical resources, data centers, cooling, power, network and security, as well as computing resources that include servers and storage. With PaaS, the provider, in addition to the computing resources, also manages the platform infrastructure, which includes the operating systems, development tools, databases, and business analytics. In the SAAS model, in addition to the infrastructure and the platform resources, the provider also hosts and manages the applications and data. In the next video, we'll take a closer look at infrastructure as a service, its features, benefits, and some use cases.